My next guest is a contributing editor for This American Life on National Public Radio and the author of this very smart, very funny book, The Partly Cloudy Patriot. Please welcome Sarah Vowell. <laughs> Sarah, it's nice to have you here. Oh, thank you. Now, a lot of people, summer means go to the beach, relax, uh, a lot tan. Of people. Uh, you're a little different. Tell us about your summer plans. Well, this summer I'm going on what I like to call assassination vacation. Assassination vacation. Mm -hmm. Explain I'm, what that I'm is. I'm going to go to as many sites of political assassinations as I can. Like, and this is American politi historical yeah. political assassination America, sites. We have plenty right, right, right. here. In we America. have our own. You don't have to go to some other no. country. USA. <laughs> USA. <laughs> So, uh, so uh, where are you going well, first? Like last weekend, I started and I went to D.C. to do um, Lincoln sites. Right. And um, that was fun. And <laughs> but you know how you you want to go to historic sites and you want to sort of commune with history, but uh, contemporary life kind of always intrudes in Gets some in way. way. And mm -hmm. uh, I was with my friend Matt, and we were we were in this house, this historic house in Maryland, which is the tavern where. John Wilkes Booth stopped to get some guns and whiskey. After the assassination? After. Right. He was running away and he said, I need a drink. Yeah. And then... Yeah. Well, he had broken his leg, you yeah. know, and none yeah. of the pain I've heard. Yeah. And uh, so I'm standing there and the, getting a tour with this um, with this woman who's, she's very matronly and she's wearing this hoop skirt and this like 1860s costume and she's showing us the dining table and she's showing us these biscuits and stuff and, and my friend Matt is standing there and he's asking her and she's like talking about how she makes the biscuits and he's asking her about her biscuit recipe and I look over and he's he's wearing this t-shirt that says porn freak <laughs> 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 it kind of hurts the mood a little really bit. It did sort of ruin the moment. And she never commented on it. She went, no. oh, I'm a porn freak, too. <laughs> Have another no biscuit. No comment at all. Um, what else did you see on the Lincoln? Because there's uh, a lot of Lincoln yeah. stuff. Like, there are different places that they stopped. Uh, well, I went to Dr. Mudd's house, his farmhouse. This is the doctor who, uh, you know, Booth broke his leg, and he um, set Booth's leg and stuff. Right. And um, so we're there in another costume tour guide and everything. And, uh, um... And there's this guy on the tour, and we go into the living room, and he sees the piano. He's like, hey, can I play that? And the tour guy's like, I guess. And so he like, crosses over the velvet rope, you know, and he starts playing. It's really out of tune. And, and I'm like, um, sir, are you playing Lean on Me? And he was, you know that song? Yeah, lean on me when you're not sure. <laughs> Where are they, that one? I thought... No, 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 that one. No, yeah, see, they get they get behind that. Yeah. But when I do my tay my tay, nothing. <laughs> That's a fundamental. So really, so you're trying again to have the uh, uh, you're trying to have this historic experience and someone's ruining it. Right. Well, I thought that was sort of funny because you know um, Mud helped Booth, and I was thinking, wouldn't that have been funny if they had sung that song to each other? <laughs> Maybe in the like in the musical, in the musical. When well, they do a musical on the Lincoln assassination, yeah. yeah. It'll be the scene where Booth and Mud are dancing around. <laughs> Booth's hopping on one leg and yeah. he's singing Lean On Me. Uh -huh. You're going to own that piece of the play when it comes nice. out. Uh, you have a big obsession with Lincoln's son. Explain why. Well, yeah, I mean, he, he, he's um, the jinxiest. Uh, this is Robert. Robert, Robert Todd Lincoln. Yeah. He's Lincoln's grown son. He was there at Lincoln's deathbed when he died. And then he was also there when Garfield got shot. He was just standing nearby. Yeah. yeah. And um, and he was he was in Buffalo when McKinley was assassinated too. Right. So that's like a three for yeah. on the assassination yeah. tip. Right. Uh, I read somewhere like after the McKinley assassination, he decided not to go to any more presidential events. <laughs> right. But uh, I'm pretty sure they just kind of stopped inviting him. I, know. <laughs> I could see them going over the itinerary of who's coming on the trip, and yeah. it's like, wait a minute, I don't want this guy. <laughs> this is Death McGee coming yeah. on the. <laughs> I don't yeah. want him coming by. Uh, have you been to his house, Robert Lincoln's house? Hildeen? Hildeen, yes. I was thinking about going there this right. summer in Vermont. I'm such a nerd, I've been there. You've been to Hildeen? I went to Hildeen, and that's why I never had a date. <laughs> <Ever>. <laughs> All through high school and college, I was like, ladies, I've been to Hildeen. <laughs> greet, greet. You hear crickets. I'm uh, impressed. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. 
Um, <laughs> I wrote a comic book with the Justice you wrote a comic League book. in it. Yeah. And Batman is yeah. in it. And uh, yeah. it's based on a writer named Jim Goad, and it's his birthday. And he, <laughs> uh, why won't women touch me? Yeah. <laughs> Comic book author and two assassination buffs. Uh, I should I should uh, point out that we should have our own little party with warm yeah. warm clam dip. Uh, Sarah's in the new movie Gigantic: A Tale of Two Johns, which is mm -hmm. playing in Select City, which is the they right. might they might be giants documentary. Mm -hmm. So people should check that out. You are also in it. I am also. I in hope it. they licensed your image. I'm nude in it, which means it's a loophole, so they don't have to do that. No, again. Don't woo things that aren't really wooable. That's not wooable. And the uh, the partly cloudy patriot is uh, available now. Sarah Bow, always wrote great. A book. Have, <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Always nice having you. We'll take a break. We'll be right back. Oh. My God. God. All right, everybody, that's our show. I do want to thank all my guests. Sarah Vowell, thank you very much You're for being welcome. here. Our thanks to Patton Oswald for stopping by. He's a good man. He's an honest man. Josh Hartnett, our thanks to Josh Hartnett for being here. Jimmy Mavino and the Max Weinberg 7. Stay tuned for Last Call with Carson Daly. Good to see you.